Welcome back, everybody. Mr. Holmes here, going to talk to you about another artist of the week. This week, we're taking a look at Edgar Degas and his painting titled The Absinthe Drinker. He painted this in 1875 through 76. I'm going to start you with a quote from Degas himself. He says, a painting requires a little mystery, some vagueness, some fantasy. When you always make your meaning perfectly plain, you end up boring people. Well, Degas was not about boring people, that's for sure. Because this man was intrigued by the challenge of capturing effects of light and was attracted to, sen to scenes of urban leisure. He rejected the label impressionist. Uh, he preferred to describe himself as what he'd call an independent. This is unique because at the time, the 1870s in Paris, where he was working, his peers, who he often exhibited with, uh, were all Impressionists. And many would say that his work also falls into that category. Degas' inherited wealth gave him the comfort to find his own way. And later, it also enabled him to withdraw from the Paris art world and sell pictures at his own discretion. He was intrigued by the human figure and in his many images of women, dancers, singers, and laundresses, he strove to capture the body in unusual positions. So Degas was not just a painter, he was also a sculptor. So we see in the top left here, this little ballerina, he titled this Little Dancer of 14 Years, and he crafted this in 1881. He sculpted it out of wax originally, and then went ahead and casted it. Here's some photos of Degas himself. He was the eldest of five children. He was born into a wealthy Franco-Italian family and was encouraged from an early age to pursue the arts, but his parents didn't want him to make it a career. Uh, following his graduation in 1853 with a baccalaureate in literature, the 18-year-old Degas registered at the Louvre as a copyist, which he claimed later in life is the foundation for any true artist. So a copyist is someone who takes, uh, views others' work and will literally just go ahead and copy it uh, for prints, for, for selling. Uh, that way they can duplicate the art so other people can have it and not just have the original because there were no uh, color copiers back in the 1870s. Here's some more examples of Edgar Degas' work. Again, a really muted color palette. He's capturing the urban lifestyle in Paris at the time. Top left is actually a self-portrait of Degas. Notice how his figures are kind of just staring off into space often. They're not looking at the viewer except for this woman in the top right. She's staring directly at you where everyone else is just kind of existing in this space. He's taking a snapshot of the time. Edgar says, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. Let's go ahead and talk about the painting of the week itself, okay? This is the absent drinker. Degas' painting in the cafe shows a couple seated side by side, looking worse for wear after a long night. The woman stares into space with heavy eyes, her shoulders drooped and a pale drink, absinthe, on the table in front of her. Her surely companion stares off to the side, a pipe sticking from his mouth, his misshapen hat pulled down over his unruly hair. His glass is filled with the brown drink, uh, possibly a cold coffee beverage, his hangover cure. The palette of muted grays and soft earth tones suggests stale air and melancholy. The scene is both typical and topical in Degas' time. Absinthe, also known as the Green Fairy, was a green-colored, highly alcoholic spirit, poured over ice and served with water and a cube of sugar to soften the bitter taste. It was highly addictive and known to cause hallucinations. His growing popularity and its negative social effects led to absinthe being banned in much of Europe and America. The cafe pictured was one frequented by modern artists and intellectual bohemians. The painting is composed like a photograph with the subject matter cropped at the edges and carefully balanced light and shade. Although it has the appearance of being made on the spot, the image was actually completed in Degas' studio. Degas convinced his friends to model for the figures. Ellen André was an actress and an artist's model. The gentleman, Marcelin de Bouchin, probably butchered his pronunciation. <laughs> Sorry, Marcelin. Uh, he was an engraver and an artist. 
Now, what's kind of interesting about it is their reputation suffered as being a part of the painting. And Degas had to go out and publicly declare that these two uh, humans are not really alcoholics. So even in the 1870s, uh, people were getting getting in trouble with the paparazzi, I suppose, and getting labeled miscorrectly. That is Edgar Degas and the Absinthe Drinker. Thank you, everybody.